Good evening church, hope you are well on this Wednesday evening. Uh, this is a quick webcast, uh, I'm going to keep it quite short and sweet today. Uh, I've left it till tonight to really do this webcast because obviously yesterday we had some more restrictions that were announced by Boris uh, around only meeting with six people uh, indoors and outdoors. Uh, we've had a briefing today from Boris Johnson and his team uh, and they've explained a little further what that means and what that's for. Uh, the good news for us is that church is still on. Uh, these restrictions do not uh, affect us putting on church and corporate worship and corporate prayer. So guys, we are still in the building 10.30 on Sunday. If you want to be a part of that and you haven't already, then I would just really encourage you to book your tickets on Eventbrite. You can get to it through our Facebook page. You can message us on our email address at the church. You can leave a message on the voicemail at the church, or you can contact me on my mobile. You can contact us through Facebook Messenger. So guys, if you've got any problems with booking tickets, please get in touch with us and we'll see what we can do to help you. Um, the one thing that I would want to say to us as a church and to us as individuals is yesterday when I heard the news that we now have a restriction of six people only that we can get in touch with and we can be around. I instantly went to, what does that mean for the church? Oh, crumbs. Do we need to close? Do we need to do that? And all these questions entered my mind and they went through my mind. And I had to think through that. And I had to kind of just sit back and say, okay, God, you are in control. You are in control and you were not surprised by that announcement. And you are not surprised by whatever the restrictions will be in the future. And guys, that's truth. Our God is not surprised. And our God has not left his throne. He's still sat there. He's still in control. And the world is playing out to the tune of his plan. He absolutely knows the path that this world is going on. And he knows the end from the beginning. One thing that is just so important for me to keep hold of and for us to keep hold of is that our God is the same yesterday, today and tomorrow. What does that mean? That means that God is consistent. It means that our God is a rock that we can hold on to, that we can stand on, that we can cling to when all around us is in absolute turmoil and chaos. Our God is not. He sat on his throne and he is Lord of Lords. He is King of Kings. He's sovereign over everything that is taking place. Guys, be reminded and let this reminder really soak into you that our God is in control. That God has not left his throne. That the world is not spinning completely in chaos. No, it spins because God tells it to spin. What is happening right now God knew about. God is not surprised. And God has a plan. And it is a good plan. It's from Jeremiah. It is a good plan. It is a plan to succeed us, not a plan to harm us. That's what God promises to us, that he has a plan for us. God also promises and says that he works in every situation for the good of those that love him. So guys, God is working in this situation for your good. Because you love him. God will be glorified. As we come out of this. As we move closer and closer and closer to the end. God will be glorified. I want to just remind you of that. That God is in control. That God is not surprised by what's going on. That God was not caught napping or caught unaware. God has a plan. And it is a good plan. It is a plan to prosper. It is a plan to succeed. It is not a plan to harm us. Hold on to God through these rough seas, guys. Because he is a rock. And he loves you and loves us. With a perfect love. And the Bible's clear. Perfect love casts out all fear. We don't need to fear the chaos around us. When we know the God who loves us would do anything for us, even die on a cross for us. 
God is in control. He is the same yesterday, today and tomorrow. And he loves us, loves you with a perfect love. Guys, I will see you at church on Sunday for those that are coming. For those that are not ready to come back yet, we are praying for you. We love you and we miss you. Uh, and we will be keeping in contact with you through our emails, through our newsletters, through these webcasts, through the blogs. Guys, our door is open. Our phones are on. Please leave us messages. Please text us. Please get in touch if you need anything. Hopefully, I'll be speaking to everybody in the church anyway over the next couple of weeks. So I hopefully won't miss anything. But if I have missed anything, then please feel free to get hold of me and talk to me. If you do want to get in touch with us and get in, get in contact with us through our Zoom life group, then again, please do. Let me know and I'll make sure that you get the login details. If you haven't been on already, the, the nights have been great just to be in contact with people, just to see people's faces, to hear their thoughts on different things. This week we were talking about what the word means to us, what our favourite passages are, how God has spoken to us through it. It was a great time of encouraging each other. And I just encourage you, if you can be there, get there, be there. It's a time and a place to be real with each other. It's a time to actually live life together through this storm. Guys, church is back on a Sunday. I said I'd keep it short and I'll keep it short. God bless and take care and have a great night.